Hello and welcome again to Upside Daily. Uh, my name is Yuani Stekas and it is always a joy and an honor for me to connect with you, whether it be on my Facebook page or here on any podcast channel that you might be following. Uh, this is season two for me. Um, never run at a giant with your mouth shut. And I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to connect with your life every day, Monday to Thursday, just for a seven or eight minute devotional, just chatting about the power of his work in our lives um, in different ways and in different topics. So season two, two, never run at a giant with your mouth shut. Over this week, we've been chatting about how what we hear actually impacts what we speak. Um, and we've also spoken about the reinforcing or the reinforcement through our words of the completed work of Christ. You see, when we speak, we're actually not trying to achieve something we're reinforcing, simply reinforcing the victory and the authority that Christ has already accomplished. He has paid for this. You know, so instead of allowing the symptoms of a broken life in Adam to continue controlling our lives, it's necessary for us to take charge and make it do, the situation do, this giant or this mountain do what Jesus intended for it to do, what to, needed to happen to it, you know. And we have to recognize that confession actually precedes possession. Um, nothing will establish you faster and more deep um, into that which Christ has destined for you as to start confessing it. Because confession precedes possession. Confession is the beginning of your inheritance. Yesterday, we looked at the fact that Jesus is the apostle and the high priest of our confession. You know, he's waiting for me and you to say something that agrees with all that he has done. And when that starts happening, you know, um, something in our lives starts changing. We must say the same thing that God says about us in Christ. You see it in David's life. He was saying to this giant the same thing that he knew was true in his life, that God had spoken out of his life when he was anointed as king over Israel. And this was even before he actually physically became king, because remember, he was still a little boy, a young shepherd boy. But when he started saying the same thing that God was saying, the victory became evident. The fact is, if you're not impressed with who you are in Christ, you perhaps simply have not seen him lately because he's glorified and all powerful and you are in him. We must recognize that we are more than what we think we are. This is the most humbling of thoughts. It doesn't bring you into this place of exaggerated, blown up, pompous, prosperity preaching thinking but it does bring you into a wide open space of his abundance and authority and inheritance. I recently read this um, a little uh, quote by F.F. F. Bosworth, where he says, a spiritual law that few of us recognize is that our confession rules us. Okay, it's plain and simple. And then he says, it is what we confess with our lips that really dominates our inner being. Nothing will establish you and build your faith as quickly as confession. The confession of your lips that has grown out of the faith in your heart will absolutely defeat the adversary in every combat. God can be no bigger in you than you confess him to be. Now, I don't know if you're listening to this thinking to yourself, this is just a magic wand, you know. Uh, Yanni says, just wave a few portions of scripture around and, and aha, you know, I've got these few problems. Now, let me just wave the Bible at them by speaking a few Bible verses over them and they're magically going to disappear. Now, that's not what I'm speaking about. But what I am saying is that you can never run at a giant with your mouth shut. Let me tell you, you will never see a mountain disappear with your mouth shut. You've heard me say quite often, if you follow these podcasts, that you are not a physical being looking for spiritual experiences. You are a spirit word being enjoying a physical human experience. But, but, but perhaps today I'd like to adapt that a little. You are not just a spirit word being. You are a speaking spirit word being that has found its full expression in the flesh. 
There's so many scriptures that underline this. Proverbs 18, 21 says, Your words are so powerful that they will kill or give life. Proverbs 6, verse 2 says, The sayings of your lips have overcome you. I suppose in some other shape or form, my frustration is that that this is not the comprehensive, definitive message on this massively important part of our journey of faith. But let me tell you, it is a starting point. And let me end this week's Upside Daily with this thought. Mark 11, 23 says, Whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes those things that he says will be done. He will have whatever he says. You know, for so long, I've made this verse about the believing. You know, I must believe, I must not have doubt in my heart. But have you noticed how this, the word says, says three times, whereas believe only appears once? Jesus is telling us that whilst believing is important, speaking is even more important. So can I encourage you, start speaking to your mountain. You know, David does not run at the giant with his mouth shut. He runs at the giant declaring, listen again, he says, you come against me with sword and spear, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, whom you have defied. And this day, the Lord will deliver you into my hands and I'll strike you down. And the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. And all those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves for the battle is the Lord's and he will give all of you into my hands. His word in our mouth is as strong and as relevant as his word in his mouth. I pray that you have a blessed weekend. Um, If you want to connect more with me or with what I'm busy with on a greater platform, doxadeo.church is the way to go. Uh, Please check out our website, uh, our online celebrations this coming weekend. But I do look forward to connecting with you again on Monday, the week before Easter, as we continue our journey Uh, No, it's the week after Easter. As we continue our journey in understanding how we run at a giant with our mouths wide open. God bless you and live blessed.